was a fierce landlady who rang the bluebell in my dear. She pulled the pints and cooked the food and made no Tories beer. She was renowned for miles around for as being an old trout. You'd spend your money and drink a beer and then she'd throw you out. And then she'd throw you out Oh, the bitter, bitter landlady The sour landlady She made no effort to be sweet Was not hospitable A casual remark could leave you in the hospital Those brave enough to stay did not think that she was nice, oh. She'd serve them bitter lemon, but refused to give them ice, oh. The bitter, bitter landlady, the sour landlady. The lads came out on Friday night, looking for a thrill, oh. And were surprised to find Saloon bar hushed and full of chills, oh, and full of anxious chills. She was as mean to all her staff, she had a bitter tongue, oh, she never gave them holidays, she treated them with scorn. She loathed the sound of revelry, she'd turn and walk away. She couldn't stand the sound of cheer, even on Christmas Day, even on Christmas Day. You never saw a smile or laugh, she was a harridan. And dogs and children weren't allowed. She banned the Morris men, oh, she banned the Morris men. Oh, the bitter, bitter landlady, the sour landlady. <laughs> all the regulars she wished that they were dead she filled their empty glasses and shook her grey head and shook her grey head she could silence the loudest rugby player with just one icy look and have him scurrying for the snug to read the good book, to read the good book. She'd ban you for the slightest thing, for sleeping in the yard, or snapping a geranium. She'd come down on you hard, oh, she was so very She didn't seem to have a virtue, so we were quite sure. And when it came to closing time, she'd slam the door, she'd slam the door. Why are you a landlady? We secretly intoned. She'd wipe another glass of three. Like she was made of stone, like she was made of stone. Horse brasses, old hunting horns, where would an old widow go? What lies beneath the shriveled nuts in the cellar below, in the cellar? The rats in the Great Valley 
the mice in the green wood would not go near the bluebell in, even in a flood, even in a flood. Oh, the bitter, bitter landlady, the sour One winter time two lovers came Looking for a room I've heard it said on good report It was their honeymoon Reluctantly she bade them in And made them a repast Of old meat pie washed down with gin Beneath the polished brass, beneath the polished brass, the bride had lost an earring down in the woods somewhere. She laughed and glanced towards her groom and threw back her robin hair and threw back her robin. They sank another famous hail. The landlady ushered them upstairs to a chilly room, though it was only ten. Though it was only ten. Oh, the bitter, bitter landlady, the sour landlady. They leapt into their cosy bed and held each other tight and listened to the queer old lady shutting up for the night. She hesitated for a while before retiring to and gazed into the dregs and empty bottles all askew. She tried to do the reckoning, but solace there was none, and teardrops fell among the slops and the spilled sauvignon, and the spilled sauvignon. She pulled herself together, climbed the narrow stair, and lay down on her mattress of finest horsehair, of finest horsehair, ornaments and trinkets twinkled in the gloom and watched over the old landlady sleeping in her room. Oh, the creaking of the roof beams, the ticking of a clock, a single silver earring in a velvet And the wind howled round, and the landlady snored with a dreadful sound. The two lovers awoke in their chilly lair, and tiptoed down the hallway and crept down the narrow stair. They unbolted the back door, their mission to proceed, and 
crept out into the cold dark night to do their devious deed. Up and down the garden, under cover of the dark, back and forth the lovers went with a spade and a fork, with a spade and a fork. They dug and they planted near 500 yellow blooms And just before the sun came up They crept back to their room They crept back to their room Their mission completed with impish delight they crept back up the narrow stair In the first grey light In the first grey light Just after the sun came up The landlady arose And went to draw the curtains In her quaint window and when she looked outside She fell down in a daze The mountains of the golden trumpets Shimmered in the haze This isn't dark and field This is dark and field Alan, darling, Alan, what shall I do? Come, take me in your arms again, like you used to do. Lovely Jenny, love my dear, don't you ever fright. Trip among the daffodils. Under the velvet night 
I'll sing to me softly, sing to me low, take me down the woods again where we used to go. Lay me in the daffodils by the river way, tenderly embrace me. And here I'll end.